Good day. I am Julian Diniz Gregorio from Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology College of Nursing, and I will be your student nurse for today. I will present a providing urinary catheter. Catheterization involves passing a rubber or plastic tube into the bladder via urethra to drain urine from the bladder or to obtain a urine specimen. Intermittent catheterization may be used to obtain a sample or to relieve bladder distension. Indwelling catheters may be used short term to keep the bladder empty to prevent urinary retention or allow precise measurement of urine. Long-term indwelling or retention catheters are used to control incontinence, prevent retention, or prevent the leakage of urine. Catheterization is a sterile procedure. Good day, I am Julian Diniz Gregorio from Mabaycia University of Science and Technology, College of Nursing, and I will be your student nurse for today. May I know your name? Christine Andrea Lopez. And your birthday? December 4, 2000. How do you want me to call you? Miss Lopez will be. Okay, for today, I will insert a Foley catheter. The Foley catheter is inserted into the urethra, the tube that carries urine out of the body. It is gently pushed up the urethra until it reaches the bladder. A hole in the bladder end of the tube allows urine to flow out of the bladder, through the urethra, and out of the body into the collection bag. Before I proceed, I will assemble the equipments, put some gloves, and do hand hygiene. Okay ma'am, I will assess the urinary mucus for sign of infection and inflammation. Place waterproof pad under the client in the bed or under bed van if used. And perform a hand hygiene. Drape the client's abdomen and thighs if needed. Ensure adequate lightening of penis or vagina and perineal area. Perform a hand hygiene. Wear a disposable gloves or sterile gloves. Open the catheterization kit using a septic technique. Use the wrapper to establish a sterile field. If the catheter is not included in the kit, Drop the sterile catheter onto the field using a septic technique. Add any other items needed. If inserting a retention catheter, attach the syringe filled with sterile water to the lower lock tail of the catheter. Inflate and deflate the retention balloon, detach the water-filled syringe. Attach the catheter to the urine drainage pad if it's not pre-connected. Put some betadine on the cotton balls. Use the forceps to pick up a cotton ball soaked in betadine and cleanse the periuretral mucosa. Use one downstroke for each cotton ball and dispose. Generously, 
coat the distal portion of the catheter with water soluble, sterile lubricant and place nearby on the sterile field. Ma'am, I will now insert the catheter. Holding the catheter in the dominant hand, steadily insert the catheter in the meteus until urine is noted in the drainage bag or tubing. If the catheter will be removed as soon as the client's bladder is empty, insert the catheter another inch and hold the catheter in place as the bladder drains. If the catheter will be in welding with the retention balloon, continue inserting another 1 to 3 inches. Reattach the water field syringe in the inflation port. Inflate the retention balloon using manufacturer's recommendation or according to the physician's or qualified practitioner's order. Instruct the patient to immediately report discomfort or pressure during balloon inflation. If pain occurs, discontinue the procedure, deflate the balloon, and insert the catheter farther into the bladder. If the clients continue to complain of pain with the balloon inflation, remove the catheter and notify the client's qualified practitioner. Once the balloon has been inflated, gently pull the catheter until the retention balloon is resting snug against the bladder neck. Tape the catheter to the abdomen or thigh snugly, yet with enough slack so it will not pull on the bladder. Remove gloves, dispose of equipment, and wash hands. You can now cover the genital area. Okay, Ms. Lopez, I'm done inserting the Foley catheter. I will now place the drainage bag below the level of the bladder. Do not let it rest on the floor. Make sure the tubing slide over, not under the leg. Dispose the waterproof pad. Assess and document the amount, color, and odor. Okay, Ms. Lopez, I'm done inserting the folly catheter. You can rest now, and thank you for your cooperation. Have a great day. For the evaluation, the catheter was inserted without pain, trauma, and injury to the client. The client's bladder was emptied without complication. The nurse maintained the sterility of the catheter during insertion. For the documentation, record the time and date that the catheter was inserted. Note the size and type of the catheter used. Include the size of the retention balloon and the amount of sterile water used to inflate the balloon. Records the client's response to the procedure and the amount, color, and quantity of urine returned. Intake and output record. Record the amount of urine returned. Once again, I am Julian Diniz Gregorio from Navarra University of Science and Technology, College of Nursing. Have a great day and thank you for watching.